amazing Sanskrit verse once, which spoke about the five qualities that a student must have. In fact, each of us is a student in our life. And this is why we should possess and try to cultivate these five qualities. Kakacheshta bako dhyanam shwana nidra tathaivacha alpahari grihatyagi vidyarthi panchalakshanam vidyarthi vidya means knowledge arthi means one who desires knowledge vidyarthi one who desires knowledge all of us should possess panchalakshanam these five characteristic features and qualities the first one kaka cheshta kaka means a crow and cheshta means effort kaka cheshta means the effort of a crow all of us in our childhood read the story of a crow who was extremely thirsty and was flying around looking for some water the crow found a pitcher of water as the crow landed itself on the rim of the pitcher and looked inside at the contents he found there was water but the water was at the very bottom of the pitcher and there was no way that the crow could drink water by putting its beak inside the crow started thinking what should be done and it came across a brilliant idea it started flying around and picking up in its beak tiny pebbles and putting them inside the pitcher pebble by pebble by pebble the crow kept working hard until the level of the water rose way up to the rim of the pitcher and the crow quenched its thirst kaka cheshta refers to the patient hard work and the effort of the crow yes ladies and gentlemen if we have to work on our lives if we have to truly bring what is within outside we have to go through some painful sharpening of kaka cheshta hard work and don't they say that the only place where success comes before work is in the dictionary that's because s comes before w the second quality of a vidyarthi is bako dhyanam bako dhyanam means the focus the intense focus of a crane when one looks at the crane standing on one leg completely focused into the waters the crane with one pointed attention is looking at the waters as the fishes are swimming inside the waters the crane will allow the tiny the small fish to swim around and not be satisfied with them it will allow the fishes the small fishes to go around and swim around the crane will focus and wait for the big fish to come if the crane settles with the small fish it will lose the big fish and if the crane wants the big fish it has to allow the small fish to pass by and go around similarly in life when you want to focus on what is important we should allow the small things to pass by we shouldn't be distracted by the little things sometimes there'll be interpersonal issues and conflicts sometimes there'll be some health crises sometimes there might be a financial crisis so many things keep happening in life let the small things pass by and focus on what's important the third quality of a student or a vidyarthi is shwan nidra shwan means a dog and nidra means sleep shwan nidra means the sleep of a dog or to be more precise the alertness of a dog all of us have seen actually when a dog is sleeping although the eyes are closed the dog is very alert to the surroundings around it even if there's a little sound or even if someone just walks in very very slowly the dog will immediately open 
its eyes all those who want knowledge in their lives and want to pursue or something that's meaningful in life have to practice the quality of alertness although we may be eyes closed doing not literally but doing what we are doing in our lives we shouldn't miss out on being alert to the world around us there's a lot to learn in the world from people from objects from situations from surroundings we'll only learn when we are alert the fourth quality that a vidyarthi must possess is alpahari ahar in sanskrit means food and alpa means less so literally alpahari means that a vidyarthi or one seeking knowledge should eat less now this is not what has been implied by this word though we have varieties of ahar like for example for our tongue we have food that's the ahar for our ears we have sound that's the ahar music talks for our eyes sights people beautiful panoramic scenery is the ahar so for each of our senses there is ahar and when this word says that a vidyarthi should be alpahari it means we should be very careful of what inputs we give to our senses because whatever inputs we give to our senses actually go and make a very deep indelible impression on our psyche on our inner systems in sanskrit that is called sanskar sanskar means that indelible impression that sensory inputs leave on our minds i'll tell you we give so many inputs through our senses and they leave a very indelible mark sometimes unerasable mark on our consciousness and our minds therefore when we talk about alpahari it means we should be very careful to choose those sensory inputs which are of value and those things that we want our mind space to be filled with do not subject yourselves to unwanted things in the world around which will go and occupy your precious mind space which should not be taken by unwanted less valuable and less priority things your mind space is meant and reserved for the most important and valuable things the fifth thing or the fifth quality that a vidyarthi must possess is griha tyagi griha means home tyagi means to give up leave in the ancient eastern world of india students would leave their home at early age and go to study under their teachers or gurus in the school which was called gurukul griha tyagi means leaving home to go and go in pursuit of knowledge in its real implied sense griha tyagi doesn't mean leaving home it means leaving our comfort zone if we are living in our comfort zone griha or home represents comfort zone so if we are going to live in our comfort zone there's no question of pursuing that which is of true value therefore griha tyagi refers to coming out of our comfort zone which is what no pains no gains means and thus these five qualities kaka cheshta the effort of a crow bako dhyanam the focus of a crane shwan nidra the alertness of a dog alpahari giving the right inputs to our senses and griha tyagi coming out of the comfort zone a painful ladies and gentlemen but no pains no gains <laughs>